Imagine this, you're behind the wheel of a sleek, futuristic Mercedes, you press down on the accelerator and whoosh, it feels like you've been catapulted into the future. How does this magic happen? Well, forget about time-traveling flux capacitors, we're talking about something just as cool axial flux motors. These babies give your electric Mercedes an extra kick, making it zoom like never before. Now, picture the entire car world holding its breath for something big. Everyone's been craving a revolution, and guess who steps up to the plate? Yup, it's Mercedes-Benz. They've unleashed a groundbreaking engine tech that's never been seen before. It's like they've pulled a rabbit out of a hat, except instead of a rabbit, it's an engine that's turning heads everywhere. But let's slow down for a sec and dig into the nitty-gritty. How does this fancy new engine actually work? And when can we expect it to hit the streets? Strap in, folks, because we're about to take a deep dive into Mercedes' game-changing axial flux engine that's shaking up the car world. Now, if you didn't already know, Mercedes-Benz is basically the OG of car companies. They rolled out the world's first ever real car, the Benz Patent Motor Car Model No. 1, a whopping 140 years ago in 1886. Since then, they've been the gold standard of luxury and class. Let's face it, we all secretly dream of owning a Merc. Whether you're pinching pennies or rolling in dough, a Mercedes has always been the ultimate status symbol. But here's the thing, Mercedes Allure isn't just about their fancy history. It's also about their drive to push boundaries and think outside the box. They've got a reputation for innovation, and they've been living up to it every step of the way. For example, did you know that the first self-driving vehicle wasn't actually a Tesla? Believe it or not, the first autonomous vehicle was actually an experimental Mercedes-Benz W114-250 automatic that has been made and tested 55 years ago. Cool stuff, right? Also, did you know that the first proper road-going supercar wasn't a Ferrari or a Lamborghini? It was the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. If you ask us, the 300 SL is also by far the most beautiful car ever made. Just look at it, it's so effortlessly elegant while also exuding sportiness. And just take a look at those beautiful gullwing doors. It's really impeccable design-wise, isn't it? The biggest difference you'll see between them is the fact that the gap between the rotor and the stator of the axial flux motor is aligned parallel with the axis of rotation, unlike the regular radial gap motor, which has its direction of magnetic flux between the rotor and the stator aligned perpendicularly to the axis of rotation. This means that the motor takes up a much thinner silhouette, similar to a pancake, which is why it's commonly known as the pancake motor. Instead of the concentric cylindrical geometry of the radial gap motor, the radial gap motor has been the standard in the past because it was much cheaper and faster to mass produce as they have considerably fewer magnets compared to the pancake motor. However, the axial flux motor offers a much higher amount of torque due to the fact that its rotating member is found on the outer diameter. This means that an axial motor design offers up to 40% more torque compared to its similarly sized radial counterpart while also lowering its overall motor footprint. Torque is one of the most important parameters when it comes to EVs, and having it in abundance is always good. Also, axial motors cool considerably easier, which means they won't be heavily strained and overloaded even after extensive usage. One of the biggest names in the axial flux motor industry is by far the British manufacturer Yasa. Yasa was founded 14 years ago in 2009, and they've been working on commercializing axial flux motors ever since. In 2015, they equipped an EV with six axial motors, and that car managed to set new records at the Pikes Peak climb, where it shredded through the hills with little to no effort. This turned a lot of heads in the car industry most notably of which was Ferrari, which decided to start working with Yasa on their new top-secret hybrid supercar. Nine years later, the company got an even wider audience and much-needed appreciation after the fruits of this collaboration came into the light in the form of the famed Ferrari SF90 Stradale, which was the first hybrid supercar in the world. Well, lucky for them and us, Mercedes-Benz saw the potential that Yasa held, and because of the fact that the company didn't receive any significant outside funding, they decided to buy Yasa in 2021 and fund the development of axial batteries for their own needs. This means that Yasa will achieve its initial goal and the axial flux motor will begin being readily available to regular vehicles while Mercedes will just as always manage to be the first company that commercialized it and actually used it. And the inside? Oh, that's a story on its own, so be sure to take a look at that stunning retro interior. Seriously, it needs a couple of Nixie tubes to feel like a true 80s wet dream, and we love it. Plus, those silver bucket seats sure feel like they've been ripped straight out of a rocket ship. In fact, the entire car looks and feels like a space shuttle. Honestly, 
The Vision 111 is definitely something Rick Deckard from the Blade Runner series would drive, no questions asked. Mercedes-Benz claims that this is the world's first sports car with a lounge interior. However, the piece de resistance is most definitely what's powering the car. Mercedes hasn't yet announced how powerful the powertrain is. However, they said that the axial flux motors that power the Vision 111 produce motorsport-like levels of horsepower and torque from a considerably smaller package. Which means that the whole car is actually considerably lighter than its entire competition while still offering equal or even higher levels of power. This then translates to the car being way more tossable in the corners without losing any of the corning stability as the gravitational point will remain the same and even get lowered compared to having a radial flux motor. Thanks to the featherweight chassis, the powertrain will not be overloaded significantly, which combined with the fact that the axial flux motors are way more power efficient will translate into a considerably larger range compared to its competition, which is what EVs have been streaming toward for the past two decades. Oh, and you might be thinking that the Vision 111 is a one-off, but you'd be so wrong. The Vision 111 will be a limited-run road going EV hypercar, so there's a chance that you'll be seeing one in person. Of course, it's a small chance as there will be only 111 made in total, and some of those won't even be sold. However, we're still fascinated by Mercedes' continuous success in revolutionizing the market and giving the people what they want. However, the second issue, which is the Achilles heel of Yas's axial motor design, is in fact its greatest advantage, and the fact that they've removed the stator yoke. The yokeless design allows the motor to have three times the power density of a regular radial engine of EK. However, it also means that the motor will be considerably more challenging to produce as a stator yoke is the part that normally holds the stator teeth together to form a monolithic stator. The absence of the stator yoke means that the stator itself can be put in the middle and use both of its sides to generate torque with a rotor disc, which is phenomenal in terms of performance as there are virtually no power but it's a literal shot in the foot from a production standpoint as it requires significant reworks and solutions where to function reliably and properly which further raises the production cause, making the axial motor extremely economically non-viable. But don't let this dishearten you as Mercedes themselves announce that they plan on developing the axial flux motor topology to perfection and they're adamant about converting all of their electric vehicles to the axial motor. This won't happen tomorrow, mind you, as Mercedes has only recently entered the world of EVs and logically, they aren't going to majorly revise their new models only a year or so after they hit the market. Mercedes is adamant about gradually implementing the axial flux motor into the regular EV range and the Vision 111 will be their baptism by fire as they'll be able to identify, isolate, and fix any major issues with their extremely ambitious new engine type. If you ask us, the axial flux motor will next be seen in a production-ready EV supercar or hypercar that'll either be the equivalent or the EV replacement for their mind-blowing Mercedes AMG 1. After which, it'll start getting gradually implemented in other less expensive models until it's embraced by all EVs Mercedes offers. So all in all, albeit it's still in its development stage, we're certain that the axial flux motor is the future of EVs, and we can't wait to see them being implemented in upcoming EVs, both Mercedes-made and others. Speaking of upcoming EVs, have you heard the news? Tesla's making a new $20,000 model that'll finally allow the common man to own an EV, which is by far the most exciting news we've heard all year. And if you'd like to learn more about this affordable Tesla, be sure to check out this video.